Hey guys, my name is Bo, coming at you live from my bathroom, and the previous video we showed how to use a sea salt spray in the hair, and I promised you that we would come back and show you how to treat this beard that I just shampooed. So I'm using beard brand, uh, Lumberyard here, Utility Bomb. And what this will do is it'll really, when your beard gets to this length here, we're about three and a half months in this beard, all right? When it gets to this length, really throughout the entire beard growing process, you're gonna wanna make sure your skin is hydrated because that's how you maintain a healthy beard. What Utility Balm will do, it has like shea butter, cocoa butter, mango, all kinds of stuff in there. The consistency is like, it's like a salted butter kind of thing. You want to take like, you can see how much I really have. It's, it's maybe if we ball it up like a dime size and you're going to work that all the way in the hands. All right. So put it in your hands, warm it in your hands and you can see it's all over. It's completely uh, dissolved almost. And you just want to work it in like so. And you want to start close to your skin. We look really silly when we do this. All right. And then I like to go back the other way. And what this does is, again, it's not the actual hairs themselves, it's important to keep those hydrated, but the skin, the follicles, is what you're treating here, okay? And the utility balm will double up over as kind of a, a weight and, a, and a, almost like a style gel to kind of mat those hairs down. A wooden comb is always a good idea. You can build a lot of static electricity with plastic combs or their hard edges have the tendency to break off your uh, your hair so you don't want that a wooden comb is a lot nicer on uh, your face and on your skin and this one's wide tooth or uh, we got the thin tooth one there you know just I kind of alternate just depends on how my hair is treated that day and I just go straight down now I've trimmed my beard myself um, so if, if you're one of those guys, feel free to do that. That's why it looks pretty neat here already. But you just don't need a lot of products. You don't need to just, you don't want clumps of this stuff on your face, okay? The other option you have is a boar's hair brush. You can run that through your face. And uh, that's also nice. Now, if you noticed, I haven't really touched my mustache. Mustache, I usually trim, I'll get in here for you. I usually trim above the lip here. I guess I could look at the camera. I usually keep it trimmed above the lip here, but uh, lately I kind of made the decision that I want a power stash and I might shave the beard off later. I'm getting to the point where the hairs are, if we comb it straight down, you can kind of see the hairs are getting in my mouth and when I eat and you know, it's, it's kind of everywhere. So I bought a beard balm because I didn't see mustache wax at the store and we're going to use just a little bit of that. That's actually probably a little bit too much, but we're gonna use a little bit of that. We're gonna work it like that. And then we're just gonna start pushing. I'm not going for like a curl or anything crazy like that yet, all right? I thought that was product, but it's just a really blonde beard hair. And you're just gonna use it kind of matte down. it out of your lip that's it and you're ready for the day that took every bit of four minutes to do that and I'm feeling pretty fresh here if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below I'll be more than happy to address those the cool thing about this uh, utility bomb by the way too is I'll just kind of demonstrate here from the beer brand stuff and they sell this all this stuff at Target. I, I think you can get equipped here. So we can take our utility balm and again, work it in your hands. Probably wanna get rid of the beard balm first, but you can put it on your tattoos and give it a nice, just sheen finish there. And I love doing that because immediately after doing the beard, uh, it's just, it's, it's a way to get rid of the extra product on your skin and it hydrates, again, it hydrates everything. So, all right, I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see what's going on and I can also kind of fight some straight hairs here and there's a little fluff that out right there and get the mustache going i really gotta start looking at the camera <laughs> and i'm not going for a handlebar but if it happens it happens again my main goal here with my mustache on my beard and mustache journey is to kind of uh just get comfortable i'm not used to having it on my lip at all so i bought that balm and i really wanted some wax i really uh, have to educate myself on how they feel and how they handle 
um, but maybe next time but I just wanted off that lip right now and later on once it grows a little bit more I can worry about styling it to something really cool and another point I want to make is you're gonna have these wiry hairs that stick out really fight the urge to go in and trim those up do not do it just let them grow you're gonna have bad beard days there's some days where my neckline right here here's my Adam's apple for reference it looks uneven or you know one side looks longer than the other because this side of my beard grows down this side of my beard grows out and it's just the last thing you really want to do is go in and start getting obsessive about trimming out these hairs because then you're gonna have thin spots or patchy beard you know you gotta let it grow so you get all full and nice so make sure you're not doing that okay if you guys have any questions this won't be the last uh, beard video we make just put them down in the comment box below be sure to subscribe we'll see you next time thanks guys